So I'm going to share a little bit more about the EPACA uh, HPAC heat pump AC with no outdoor unit. <clears throat> we have this unit here installed at Tatum Engineering in our conference room. Uh, this is part of a demonstration project we're doing with the Levy Partnership in NYSERDA. Um, we wanted to get the unit, get our hands on the unit, uh, do a little bit of testing uh, before we actually do a field demonstration in a natural building uh, with, with apartments. Um, so we had this unit installed in our conference room, hoping to get uh, feedback from both clients and other Tatum staff. We got it installed, uh, we put it in about mid-March, uh, early March of this year, well shortly thereafter, nobody was using our conference anymore, room anymore. But in, before that happened, we did get some good feedback on um, how it was operating. Uh, we had basically no issues at all. People were really satisfied with the amount of heat it was putting out during the heating season, and also how quiet it it actually is so it's actually operating right now uh, in air conditioning so um, the compressor is running right right behind here um, and you you can't hear it um, so even though the compressor is inside the building uh, we can't hear it running which is really great you do have a little bit of fan noise but you would get that with any unit uh, on the indoor coil the unit is installed uh, about midway up the wall the reason for that is we had some obstacles outside um, that prevented us from installing it lower, but traditionally you would see it installed under a window or kind of low on the wall where you might find a, a radiator or, or, or like a low, a low fan coil unit for a traditional VRF or, or split system. <clears throat> the unit itself is about 3 feet wide by 22 inches high by 7 inches deep, so pretty slim profile. Um, just so you know, this box down here is not traditionally with the unit. Um, this is our e-gauge monitoring system for the power mon monitoring that we're doing. <clears throat> the uh, return grill is up here. The supply grill is in the middle. Um, we obviously have our controls here, so heating, cooling, set points. Uh, you can also adjust the fan speed, whether you want to choose the fan speed yourself or it has an auto option which will modulate the fan speed based on the needs of the room. Um, and then there is a louver here on the supply air. You can adjust it yourself, or there's also a, a swing function so that it swings. So we're going to pop this cover off and uh, take a little bit of a closer look inside to show some of the technology on the inside. Now that we've got the, uh, the panel off, I thought I'd show you a little bit more on the inside of the unit. <clears throat> so we've got the indoor coil up here. Uh, the outdoor coil is right down here. So basically this line right here is the delineation between the outdoors and the indoors. So everything down here is basically outside and everything up here is inside. Uh, the, there's two penetrations to get air from outside to this outdoor coil. One of the penetrations is right behind the fan here, that's the intake, and then the fan blows that air across this coil and pushes it across this coil, and on the other side of this coil there's another penetration, and that's the exhaust off of the outdoor coil. The penetrations on this unit are six inch, uh, six inch round penetrations. We use a six inch sleeve through the wall. Um, however, since March when we got this unit, Epaca has actually done uh, a little bit more R&D and has expanded those penetrations to eight inch, which is gonna allow a lot more airflow um, across this coil. So they didn't change any of the technology on the unit itself. They've just expanded the size of that wall penetration and it allows a lot more airflow across here, which is, is gonna really deliver more capacity and more efficiency. Even without the, the eight inch, with just the six inch, we've actually been you know relatively pleased with the capacity and the efficiency so far. Um, so uh, a few other things to show you here. Um, in addition to uh, this fan here, we have a fan behind the indoor coil. So basically two fans, one for the indoor coil, one for the outdoor coil. Both are efficient uh, brushless DC motors. The inverter, I mean, sorry, the compressor is over here. This is an inverter driven compressor. Um, so it can modulate uh, the refrigerant cycle to meet the loads of the space. Um, and is also very quiet as we were talking about before. Um, we standing directly next to it, you can basically not hear it, which is which is really impressive. The uh, there is a condensate drain pan here, and that's going to pick up both condensate during cooling mode off the indoor coil, which is going to drain down into the drain pan. 
Um, there is a small little pump here, so when it's in cooling, it's going to pump that condensate and drip it across the outdoor coil, which will evaporate it and blow it outdoors. During the heating season, when the unit is in heating, you can get some uh, uh, frost buildup on the outdoor coil. The unit will go into a defrost cycle, will melt that, that frost into water. That water will collect down here. There's actually a refrigerant pipe down here, a hot gas refrigerant pipe down here, which will prevent this uh, drain pan from freezing and that water from freezing. And then at the bottom, there's actually a drain valve that will open and allow that water to, uh, to drain to either through gravity to a drain or we'll have to, you, know, you have to have a pump to pump it, a condensate pump to pump it uh, to, to a drain. So this unit does require the use of an internal drain. Um, so that's basically what we have here on the on inside the unit. There's a lot more going on, but I just wanted to give you a brief overview um, and we'll go ahead and we'll uh, step outside. So now that we're outside, I thought I'd show you a little bit more about the wall penetrations. Um, these are the two uh, wall penetrations we have. So this is uh, the intake louver. This is the exhaust louver for the outdoor coil. As I mentioned inside, we had to mount the unit up a little higher than normal. That's because we have this wheelchair left in the way. So traditionally you would see it mounted lower on the wall. Um, we used a slightly different grill than what Epoca is currently recommending. And that's because when we got the unit, we wanted to get it installed as quick as possible. And this is what we could get locally. Um, so basically this is the intake to the outdoor coil and this is the exhaust. So in here we're pulling in outdoor air at the temperature of outdoor air. And then this, this side we're exhausting air off that outdoor coil. So in this case, because the unit is currently running in cooling, it's actually blowing some hot air out right now. These were only six inch wall penetrations. Uh, and as I mentioned, the Paca has moved to an eight inch to get additional flow, um, but we don't have that unit installed here. Um, Traditionally, also, you could be installing this in a AC sleeve or a PTAC sleeve, um, and then you would be separating the, the air between the intake and the exhaust, and you might even leave the, the sleeve, the grill that comes with the sleeve on there. So that's basically what I wanted to share with you out here, just the simple detailing on the outside. Obviously, um, every project would be slightly different, but it's just basically two small penetrations in your exterior envelope.